track days start at 4.30 a.m. I usually get up early, make sure the car is ready, all strapped down, probably double check I haven't forgotten anything like how I forgot my GoPro outside overnight. Uh, good thing that I noticed it. Once everything's all packed up, double check air gauge, double check the car, gas, any small tools I might have been working on during the previous days that I didn't forget just in case I need something. Six AM making my way down the four three on the way to Toronto Motorsports Park, which I haven't been to in about twenty months, which is really long considering it's the closest track to me. It's still been that long. Uh, my last track day was at Mossport DDT, but here we are at TMP in Cayuga. Great day, everything looks promising. It's gonna be the first time out in a very long time. Here we are just about to get our first lap out. Right there is James Houghton who is usually driving the Gridlife Touring Cup TSX or the previously K-Tuned Integra, now Northern Speed Integra. So what we're doing right now is having group runs. So right now I'm part of group two. Group one is out there right now. As they come off the track, we'll get set and start our group session, which is 15 minutes runtime. Then we come off and the next group goes on and it goes like that all day with four run groups. Since it's been a while that I've been on track, I decided to let all the much faster group cars go uh, before I enter, just so I wouldn't hold anyone up. And I still got placed in front of someone, which is fine. We'll just skip my warm-up lap, just getting the tires to temp. I did go on with 22 cold front and 26 cold rear, hoping to get them up to around 30 front and back. Uh, maybe if the back gets to 28 even that will be fine and here we go starting my first lap after 20 months I definitely completely lost my turn one break point they did some repaving and they covered up the lines that were previously there so I had no idea where to break even though I've been to this track many times it could be a good thing to break old habits and start a new path, a new fresh uh, take on the track. From turn three, four, five, six, and to the hairpin, the car definitely feels more solid through these turns. Although it was my first lap, it still felt like the car is going to do a lot better this year with the camber settings different up front. So far, it's not a bad lap for me. I'm able to uh, control the car very well. Coming up on my first straightaway, involving myself trying to get closer to the wall and everyone is pointing at me. Or so I think they're pointing at me, telling me to slow down. Right now I'm thinking that my splitter is either dragging or falling off, not sure. I now see the yellow flag, which obviously means to slow down. There's a caution on the track and I noticed that someone's diffuser has fallen off their car. 
which means this is going to be the end of my first session, so I have to come off the track. Here we go, session number two. Let's get ready. And it's gonna blow by the warm up lap again. There's no point to see me just warming up my tires. show me my lap time and I completely was disfocused here, got distracted with it and then wasn't able to stop in time, went off track. Right now the tires are full of rocks, that's fine. Anyhow after this I was able to just lap and lap and lap with no issues until I finally realized that my oil light is blinking. So once I came off the track I put the car right in the trailer and of course the oil pan that I just did even though I tested it at home is leaking and that will be the end of my track day.